let's look at select distinct and for this what we'll do is create a temporary table using width we'll create a table called animals as and within this table we'll have just one column and in that column we'll specify types of animals and here we would specify type of animal this is a first select statement and what we can do is we can do a union all what union all allows us to do is stack the output of several select states and what this will do for us in this case is create a table with let's say three different uh, three different rows and each row would have these values so first row will have a value of dog second row would have a value of dog third row would have a value of cat and to see the table we can do a select star and get the values from animals we'll put a semicolon there run this and here as we can see in the output we have this uh, table which has or results or output which has a column this is type of animals and it has three records what distinct allows us to do is remove all the duplicates from the uh, from the uh, from the table that we are fetching the data from so here uh, if we specify distinct then in the output if we again select this run this in the output we should see only one dog so the duplicate entry of the dog animal was removed in this case as you can see there's just one dog and a cat now here we just had one one column if we had two columns and let's say the weight of the dog and let's say this is 30 and as weight in pounds so let's say the weight was 30 pounds and in this case this dog had a different weight let's say this weight was 80 pounds and there is a cat and the cat had a weight of again maybe 30 pounds now if we run the select distinct on this let's look at the table by itself without distinct first if we run this and as we can see the column type of animal has two uh, two repetitions of the name dog and the weight column however has two repetitions of the value 30 however when we perform a select distinct on this particular data set now we distinct we would get all the columns back because what distinct does is it removes the duplicate records so the all the all the columns should have the same values uh, so this here all the values for each row are not the same so they are different so if i if we run this now so let's go back up and click on run so here in the output we should see we see the exact same output and for sake of explanation what we can do is add another row that is exact uh, copy of the row above it so cat 30 now if we run this this time if we look at just the table without distinct first uh, we should see an additional row which is cat 30 those should be the these now these rows are exact duplicates of each other and therefore when we use distinct on this so if we specify distinct this time we should be able to see the duplicate record of cat 30 being removed and only one record of cat 30 should appear and that's what we see here so that's how select distinct work works if you, if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below please like share and subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video thank you